difficulties. It's a half extreme. And there's a kitty tail. Yeah. There's yeah, a there's, For some reason, my mic was not active. So even then, even if I wanted to stop you, I couldn't have because it wouldn't have picked it up on stream. So. Hello, <laughs> 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 ah, everyone. Welcome into another episode of Pure Havoc, where every beginning of the episode is just that. Um, we are out a player this evening, but that's all right because. Uh, it, it, it's fine. This this stream will be okay without her for, for one game, I think. Um, to do a little bit of a recap of last session, uh, it was uh, successfully disastrous. Um, <laughs> you also were successful in fighting your, your BBEG, Dr. Julius Brick, who you've been chasing since the beginning of this campaign, pretty much. Uh, as you engaged him in a, a final combat three players went down one player under dr julius's control and one player still standing having to make very difficult decisions regarding the rest of their party uh unfortunately um due to them being semi-unconscious and being hit with a significantly powered cone of cold rain failed their death saving throws only for their death to be rewritten by Xavier taking the place and snapping a, he a staff of healing and taking every consequence that came with that, but using all of the rest of its magic for revivify, which they do not have, but um, use the rest of the charges that were in the staff, the rest of all of the magicalness about it, uh, generating that into reviving rain. Unfortunately, with all of the consequences that came with that, it was over Xavier's maximum hit points and he too perished um, in, but successful in saving her life the rest of the party in a desperate attempt to try to bring Xavier back called out to their deities Norza specifically calling out to his goddess her response was that she would try but Xavier reserves the right to say no and he did so she met him in whatever afterlife he was headed to walking with a visage of his mother uh, having said that it was the only good thing he had done and he'd finally done something right and refused the offer to come back to the lands of the living and proceed forward into a, a different type of existence um, she came back, explained this to Norza, who was upset and related to the rest of the party what had happened. But um, having successfully defeated Dr. Julius with a sharp stab of the lance out to the chin and out, you all contemplated what to do next. Morgan, having discovered a small pocket watch size mirror in Dr. Julius's pockets discovered that it was frozen hit with that blast from Cone of Cold and inside was two familiar figures, Elena and Jasper Jasper being which the patron who had left your, your mental state to exist within the mirror to keep her company and to protect her rushing quickly to the room with the glass coffin that Elena was encompassed by it was frosty frozen over and you decided to open up the glass coffin calling out to whoever would answer, knowing that Jasper was indisposed as well. Uh, Cedric, the OSHA worker turned Faye that you had previously encountered and were kind of rude to, uh, answered your call and told you that they could try and that something worse was on the horizon. We ended the session with Elena opening her eyes and Morgan asking the question to Cedric, what could be worse than this? Uh, and it is there that we pick up with our party um, the four of you who have left the other room, um, leaving Xavier's body s sleeping in, in, in a state of stasis in the other room, um, what would you all like to do? Elena had opened her eyes and looked at E. Morgan, kind of disoriented still, and whispered a very, uh, breathy hi. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I, I like that everyone was like, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I did not prepare for this. Nee, nee, nee. Oh. Uh, uh, hi. It's cold. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, um, yeah, here. 
And uh, uh, can I can I cast present digitation like yeah. warm her up? Yes, yeah. gentle warmth starts encompassing her body, a slight glow from your hands uh, as she closes her eyes, not sleeping, just enjoying the the feeling and the sensation of that warmth. Um, you can hear Jasper in your head now. You can feel his presence there. He hasn't really said anything yet, but you can feel his presence there. You know for a fact that he is back. Hey, buddy. Hey. You have a nice vacation. <sighs> Send me somewhere else next time. Um, yeah, somewhere uh, tropical next time, mm, sure. That sounds perfect, actually. Like some, mm, Yes, let's do that. Let's put on that. We both okay. can go. We'll, we'll go to the tropics. I don't know where, but we'll find a place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I... Oh, a lot happened. Uh, which part? Uh, well... And I'll, I'll, I'll fill him in on mm -hmm. the whole fight and being... The uh, not useless, but not a help in the fight. You can feel a, a, a slight nod, not in agreement, but in understanding of knowing what has happened. Well, you're not useless. It's not your fault. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Thanks for your for looking after her. Yeah, uh, I think that she'll be okay. Good, good. Um, we... We lost Xavier. We, we need to get out of here. Oh. That's too bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what's plan? Have you talked to them? Uh, I... No. <laughs> yeah, the rest of you just see Morgan cradling like, this fire genasi. Uh, who's complete slowly silence. Yeah, who's slowly warming up, just complete silence. There's nothing happening. If there's a thousand yard stare that's going through anything, <laughs> through Elena into the floor down to the core of the planet. Is there anything you would like to do? Vera's standing there in stunned silence. Can you move? Are you talking to Elena? Yes. Yeah, she'll kind of flutter her eyes open. I'm a little stiff, but I think so. Okay. Um, it's been let's... a while since I've moved. <laughs> uh, let's let's see if um. Yeah. Let's give this a shot. Okay. Great. Can I try? <laughs> Can I try to pick her up? To pick her up? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Please. <laughs> <laughs> With, you're just so strong. Like <laughs> I know. Yes, you absolutely what, can try picking her up. What is your strength? Eight. <laughs> oh, holy. Oh, yeah. That's why I was like, please, yes, pick her up. Do it. Come on, you little twink. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. there's an unnatural one. Great. Oh. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you go... See, I, I, tw I twisted my ankle in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're you already kind of cradling her, and you go to stand with that weight still pressed up against your chest. And as you're rising, you just feel your strength give out slightly you don't drop her on the floor but drop her back on onto the bed of where she was lying and so she's like she just kind of looks up at you and gives a little smile 
How about how about I try walking? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean. Look at this. Beep, beep, beep. There's, there's, there's it's, practically nothing there. It's, it was worth a shot. Um, just, just to the room. We'll say, just please make sure I don't fall. Yep. Kind of directing her direct right attention. next to her. Yeah, it's kind of directing her attention to all of you. Um, and she goes to stand with you moving out of the way slightly. Her feet placed firmly on the ground. She's very slow to stand up. Very shaky. Looking at her. Um, the muscle definition in her body is small, like as if she has been laying there for a very long time, and while not wasting away, also wasn't maintaining that muscle mass, and so it's very hard for her to walk. As she stands up, very shakily, arm wrapped around your shoulder, Morgan, and a bit emaciated. Just yeah, a bit. and then looks to the rest of you that are in the room. And she kind of gives a small, "Hello." Hey. I gently go to the other side of her to, like, try and prop her up yeah, while she, saying hello. Yeah, she'll, like, keep a, that hand that she waved, but she'll put on Vera's arm and has one arm around Morgan's neck to help her stand. Um, it's nice to meet you all. I wish this was in better circumstances, but uh, thank you for saving me. Hey, DM. Yes. Can I can I pop a detect magic mm -hmm. on her? Mm -hmm. Just to yeah, of course. Just out of paranoia. Yes, of course. What's paranoia? <laughs> Have I done anything to cause you such paranoia? Yes. What? <laughs> At least think about it next time. All right, what did you roll? Roll? Oh, you popped it second match. That's right. Sorry. Um, she she doesn't like. Of course, you know that Elena has affinity for magic. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's part of the reason why she is where she is, potentially. Um, but you don't saw anything on her that's unexpected. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's good to know. Yeah. I just give a look to to Norza and, and Rain, and I'm going to message each of them, just saying, everything seems normal-ish for us. So. Rain will just give her a little nod. I still casing the room and the door just in case anything comes through. Yeah. Mm. Are you um, leaving the mansion? Are you oh, going downstairs? Was, what is the plan? <laughs> I was about to say, uh, Rain, could you Help with Elena and Vera. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vera, could you get say? Vera goes and solemnly walks to go collect Xavier. Yeah. Um. I think I think we're getting out of this house. Yeah. Rain will yeah. Walk quickly as soon as like Vera slides a little out of the way. We'll we'll take over that spot. Um. Vera, he is right where you left him. Um, peacefully laying in the, on the floor just looks asleep that little smirk uh, still on his face I gently go to scoop him up in as much respectful repost as one can yeah it, it's I'm not gonna make you roll for it it's easy enough for you to lift him then I slowly like wait out in the hallway for the rest of the group to like exit that room sure Are you, you, you all kind of know the way out now, since you've gone through so many rooms, <laughs> um, it won't be hard for you to exit this building. Are you just headed straight outside? Is that kind of yeah. general plan? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, you all exit the mansion down the front steps. I don't think you're all necessarily worried about this alarm spell or whatever this room was anymore. Um, no. Whoever its master was is dead. So, uh, you walk down the front steps of this building. What is the plan now? We should probably go to a healer of some kind. Yeah. Okay. Just as you all 
start walking towards the mansion. You hear a small, strange voice call out to you, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh fuck me! Uh, running too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ivy now. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ivy. Oh, Look Ivy. Hi. Love the new, ch love the new fit, Ivy. Uh. Yeah, so you all hear a small little voice, and you see this goblin figure that's wearing, like, newsboy outfit, little tiny hat, button-up shirt with a vest and pants and a little messenger bag, scurry up to you guys. Excuse me, excuse me, are you all yes. Team Havoc? Uh, yes. Who wants what, to what, know? What, uh, who wants to know? Uh, someone named F. Do you guys know an F? Is it just the letter F, or is it spelled yeah, right. E-F? No, it's just the letter. I got this letter uh, here for a Team Havoc from someone named F. Uh, sure, here. No. Morgan will take it. Here you go. I'm... Take it. I'm, mis I'm Mr. Havoc. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> and on the letter, it says, Dear Team Havoc, uh, I am requesting your presence at the Winged Mug in Marewood. Uh, I have vital information for you all. Then it's just signed F. Okay. We don't we don't know an F, do we? No. Uh, all I was sent here to do is deliver a letter. It's a day and a half walk back to Marewood, so I'm going to get going. Do you guys need another letter sent back or anything? Uh, I think we're good, right? I th I think so. All right. See y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that! Just like that! Come on, you guys didn't think I'd have Tanner visit and then not do that, right? That was <laughs> true. I'm, I'm so happy. You guys didn't even ask the goblin's name. <laughs> I, I can only assume it's something um, respectable like Boblin or it Hoblin. Is, it is Boblin. You know, our straight goblin. <laughs> of course it's <laughs> Boblin! So, uh, having received this letter from a strange little creature, uh, does, as he... Does Detect Magic pop off anything on it? On the leather? Mm-hmm. No, I don't believe so. Okay, cool. Nope. Hmm. So, uh, you are being given this letter with a request uh, for your company at the Winged Mug, which, if you recall earlier, uh, you had heard rumors of a great dragon tamer in the whereabouts of Marewood that Rain specifically has picked up their ears and perked up a little as they were called the winged mug was that dragon trainers cafe or something like that that she was very excited to go to oh then we absolutely have to go uh but uh we we um uh, need to find some accommodation for Elena first also not to mention in a gently we Xavier's body. We need to give Xavier a send off. Yeah. I think the only proper one would be fire. I specifically just got maneuvered around and got a third level specifically so we could send him off with fire. Good. I like that. Yeah, we. Let's let's find a place to say goodbye. Yeah. I don't suppose. Well, I, I don't necessarily want to cremate a body on the Duke's front lawn. So, like, I don't suppose I do a clearing of some kind or an outcrop yeah. in a nearby forest yeah. or something. You, you could. You would absolutely know of nearby forests uh, outside, of, like the the Duke's general property, like, immediately on his property, that would probably suit that endeavor well. Okay. Um, uh, are we wanting to get Elena to help first, or are we wanting to um, give uh, the funeral pyre priority? We're split up. She'll kind of raise her hand a little. If it's alright, um, I, I would like to at least pay my respects so as a member who helped save me. And uh, Merewood is a, a pretty busy little city from what I remember. It's been 
a, a long while since I was there, but I can find accommodations there. Oh, you, you, you're you're com coming with with us. Uh, at least that far. Uh, of, oh. Once once we're there, whatever this other person needs, we'll go from there. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If it's if it's yeah. not, I can I could make other plans. No, no, no. It's 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 fine. It's fine. Um, I'm just uh, you. Just want to make sure you're okay. I think I'll I'll be okay there. I remember it being a pretty safe place. I just don't want to be near here. Yeah. That's that's fair. Let's yeah, let's find a clearing. Yeah. Uh, I may know a place, and I kind of with my head point towards the general direction of this yeah, area be, that I think is appropriate. I'll kind of be outside the general gate and fence of where the manor's property is. Just outside, you can see a. A lot of trees and, and shrubbery. Back in that particular side, there's a clearing. Um, it looks to be like old ruins, like maybe an old garden. You're not sure who owned the property before, but there's old garden that's overgrown. Broken stones, broken fountains, but it's still hauntingly beautiful. That's kind of the area that uh, you're aware of. Um, I think as we're walking... Um... N knows the rain. Should we probably get some timber as we're moving? Think of something nice. Just gonna, as we're moving, just get like a few branches and some bits of bark, uh, bark that can start that can start a fire and keep going for a while. Uh, Vera will kind of slowly trudge up to these ruins and look for the most comfortable placement for Xavier's body. Yeah, you're able to easily find something. It's going to be hard. Um, Vera then starts going around and collecting um, branches as well to start building this bed around Xavier. Morgan's gonna find a, a a stone or something for Elena to sit down, and then is going to help Vera. Yeah, she'll sit down, kind of catch her breath a little bit. It's been a while since she's walked, so yeah, she um, sits down and watches you all. Picks little wildflowers off to the side. Um, you you all are able to easily gather wood, sticks. All of it's very dried out, so you're not worried about it being too wet. Um, yeah, you have no issues with that. Um, who wants to go first? Noraza is going to take a step forward and with his last fourth level spell, going to cast Agonize a Scorcher up in oh, the I air. Oh, thought, I thought you were saying last words. Oh. You can rewind and then do that when <laughs> I got your plan now. You good? <laughs> I, my bad. I, I, That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's if you have plus words. It's okay. <laughs> Anybody want to say anything? Vera gently goes over to Xavier and kind of like lightly squeezes his hand. Um to herself just, you know, internally thanking him, even though he drove her bonkers sometimes. I wish we could have been friends, Xavier. Because I think we would have been a cool, cool team. Two of us Smarties together as one. 
Morgan walks up and just puts a hand over one of the wounds that he caused and just I'm sorry Don't wait too long. I'll be right behind you. Walks back to Norza. You ready? Let's do it. I'm uh, I'm going to use my action and bonus action for quicken spell and unload two fireballs. Okay. Agonized think- torture. I think Rain said she wanted uh, yep. to also help with fire with leather. She is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, she is. It's, a, it's a towering inferno. Let's be real. Yeah, it is. Yes. It is something of incredible power that Xavier would be extremely proud to see just a pillar of fire. Totally, <laughs> rep- like, only there for him. Um, he would be very proud, I'm sure. But yes, Levin is also additionally helped with the, the fireballs and this tornado and whirlwind of flame. And up in flames it goes. With a whoosh of all of the spells coming, coming together and just the crackling of a warm fire. I mean, maybe you could have burned down a small building. Or yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and in your head. I somewhere. mean, it's not grand arson, but it's still arson. Like, it's still arson. It's take what we can give. It's a lot yeah, of fun. I mean, I'm sure these. I'm sure these ruins were valuable to someone. Yeah. You had much. a perfectly good Duke's Manor. You could have burned me in that. That would. I like how you just want the entire manor. <laughs> <laughs> just the entire manor. I mean, who knows? The day's still young. <laughs> He's a noble. You know he did something wrong. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh shit! I mean, we very much know he did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so long, you lovable asshole. Let's Where do we go here. now? Gotcha. I guess we're heading to uh, Mirwood? Yep. Looks like we're going to Mirwood and see who the F this F is. Yes. That's where you all got the horses. Of course. Just to remind you all. Um, <laughs> all right, so we cut back through the manor. Yep. Because we went out the back of the manor, yep, right? right? So now we're coming. Side, you come back to the front. All right, we're going to just start cutting through the front of the manor again. Okay. Vera, is there anything else you want to do before you leave this process? Look longingly at the house, uh, but not say anything. Just maybe do like a very subtle like look back and then just a resignation of like moving forward. All right. Um, it's slow going as you all start to walk towards Merwood. Um, Elena does add a little bit of a slow pace. Um, not, Wait, we have, not terribly. We have a cart, right? You somewhere. I don't know. You, you left it, I think, a little outside, but um, I don't think you drove it directly in because you kind of snuck into the Duke's Manor a little bit. Uh, so once you get there, yes, you'll be fine. But to actually get to it, a little slow going. Uh, when you do okay. get to the, the wagon, you'll be just fine. Um, and Elena is very grateful that she doesn't have to be on her feet anymore as she climbs into the back of the wagon. Are you headed directly there? Are you doing any other things on the way there? Any conversations you would like to have or discussions? Sure. Maybe we should stop at a general store and pick up some potions or something. I was, along those yeah, lines. I was thinking yeah. that too. Yep. Yeah. You know, yeah, something. Well, it's like some of you are at one hit point or something. Mm hmm. <laughs> at a cozy 12. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I not? Did I not roll hit points when we leveled up? 
I don't know. I don't think I, I, don't I, don't know. Think I did. If you didn't, go ahead and do it. Oh, it's about to get bright. Not as bright as those fireballs. Hey. Great three. Ooh. Yee. Still at the lowest hit points of the group, I think. Uh, I got a 62. How much you got? Hey, hot, really? Wait, no, I've had, I'm at 52. 52? 52. Was there 52? Buddy, oh yeah, you had a, you had mostly wizard. That's yes. Right. Yeah. You got I'm dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you are. Yes, What's you your are. max, Morgan? 64. Yep. Them levels of warlock really paid off. You had to take another level of warlock last session. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Got a subclass now. That sword is uh, that Morgan usually carries on his back is just gone. Ooh. Which uh, which subclass did you take? Pack to the blade, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it's gone. Yep. Anyways. You can just. Yep. Uh, incredible. So, um. For the most part, the weather stays warm. At one point, it gets a little dr like dreary and damp out, but not anything too concerning happens on your travels. Uh, you do cross just a couple of other little merchants, people like that, just general travelers, general people that live in the areas, but you don't see any guards or anything like that. Um, is there any conversation you all want to have before you get to where you're going? I think Morgan is like is on Roy just right next to the cart. Just staying by Elena, but is not saying a word. It is like very You 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 guys would notice this. You know Morgan does not not talk for long periods of time. It's probably the quietest you've seen Morgan ever. You're terrible at flirting. Uh. Terrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Um. Norza is just going to uh, cast press digitation and make small little like sparks, just kind of like, hey, this is just like show off like sparks effects just from the silence, just like does the whole ang pose, like ah. <laughs> So proud of you. <laughs> Vera's obviously just driving. <laughs> just yeah. Enjoy the free and flight entertainment. Would you like your complimentary packet of peanuts? It's like fireflies. I like to make myself believe. <laughs> Elena will just give you like a little clap if you do it to her. She's like <laughs> <laughs> like a little smile, but I was like, I don't know what else you want from me. Like, Thank I'm a, you, was... I'm a fire genasi. What do you want? Like, <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, thank you. That was from the magnificent bard known as Owl City. Uh, I'll be taking requests. Uh, any, any requests? No, no, not Owl City. It's Owl Bear City. Mm. <laughs> yes. Owl City is a whole other city that you don't want to be a part of. It's run by just ginormous owls. Ooh, it's the oh, what's the what's the like owl? <clears throat> the, um, owl people race. Alan. Alan. Alan's. Yep, it's just a city of Alan's. They bent over backwards to get creative for a name for that race. Yep. Right. Yes. Anyways, um, great. This is my original character, Birdman. He's an Alan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his home is called Nest Tree, and. Uh, <laughs> His favorite, um, his favorite his... pastime is uh, wing beating in air. Oh my god. <laughs> he has two air. kids, egg and omelet. <laughs> That's oh, Jonathan. so bad. <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, Morgan, do you say anything? Do you, are you just going to mostly be quiet? I, I think Morgan attempts to say something, but nothing comes out is of that the mouth. Is it that thing of just like, <gasps> um, it's I think at some point in your head, you'll just hear Jasper go, what is wrong with you? 
It has been. Wait, wait, hold on. How long has it been? How old is? How One week since you. That's exactly what I thought too. But, <laughs> that's, that's, not the case. but that's not it. No. It has been twelve years. Okay. Maybe a lot. <clears throat> since what? Talking to a girl. To her, yes. I thought she was dead. You should be dead. And your friends still talk to you. <laughs> it's complicated. Mm. Me and Cedric are going to gossip about this now. Wait. You talk to Cedric? Oh, shit. Well, I told you I was sending you friends. Yeah, I just thought you... I thought you were just stuck in here. Quiet. For a long, drawn-out pause. No. Well, that's interesting. Um... So he said something weird. He says a lot of weird things. What did he say this time? So said something worse was coming for us. Hmm. Do you say what? No. What do you think it is? Fuck all of I know. Hmm. He's killed my father. You think I really have any idea? That's a good point. No. No, I don't. Hmm. Oh fuck, we just killed my father. <laughs> oh. Daddy shoes 101. <laughs> oh. Hey yo. Hey yo. Daddy shoes bingo. You have. We, a we whole... just killed my father and saved the love of my life. Oh boy. Morgan. Oh, this, Morgan. This, this, Morgan. Yeah. yeah you, you realize you don't have to just talk to me anymore, right? Like, like I, I, I don't mind, but I'm just saying you've got friends now. Yeah. Uh, outside of me. Weirdly enough, it's easier to talk to the voice in my head than actual people. No, that makes complete sense, and I understand. I'm just letting you know that I think that they also would like to talk to you. I, I, you've been really quiet for a really long time, staring off into space. I'm starting to wonder if Norza is going to worry about you, in all honesty. Uh, hey, buddy, you doing good? <laughs> do, you, do you need some tea? I, oh, I can get you some tea. <laughs> uh... You're doing a lot of that thousand-yard stare there, bud. Uh, what? No. Uh, uh, I'm fine. You're blowing this. I am blowing this. <laughs> Can I inside check? Is it his fine? Yes. Roll for it. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll, I'll roll ooh. with disadvantage. You absolutely will roll with disadvantage. <laughs> that was not a question. Yeah. <laughs> 21. Even... Even though I rolled a three, twelve, so yeah. Oh shit! Well, you still ignore yeah, it. Nah. Ignore <laughs> it. Easy read. Yeah, I'm fine. It's like that. That's not a sound that Morgan normally makes. No, yep. he's not no. fine. It is very easy to tell. The psychopath is not doing okay. Okay. Oh, uh, what can I do? 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 You do have a puppet uh, still, Norsa. Just reminding you. you. Um, <laughs> I have a. Do you have a puppet? You have a. Hand I have puppet. a puppet. An <laughs> impromptu puppet show is exactly what he needs. Well, hi there, everybody! It's your favorite puppet show going on! Oh, boy. I just have this picture in my mind of Norris, which is like... Slowly going up to Morgan's face, like, It's your favorite guy! Like... <laughs> Howdy ho! Can we get some fan art of that? <laughs> How you doing, Morgan? I need to get you a puppet. Oh my god. See, it's okay to feel sad sometimes. But you gotta let people know how you feel, otherwise they get worried about you. 
I'm overwhelmed. How's that? It's it's okay to feel overwhelmed, buddy. We murdered our father. That's okay. At least you didn't slap your father and your friends almost got killed like this asshole over here. I did. You're right. I did get my friends killed. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, um, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Worst what? sock therapist ever. Jasper well, is like, are you both blowing it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's okay to feel these emotions. Our therapist can't talk to people either. He has, he doesn't have a lot of charisma. He has a minus one. Rain is on the other side with Levin that has no idea this is happening. And is just zooming along, like. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Alrighty. Great. We are a mess here. I feel like yes. after a while, Norris will be like, yep, okay, great. I don't know what else to do now. <laughs> He's gonna, like, kind of, like, slowly give up and just kind of, like, na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. That was very sad. <laughs> it was very sad. <laughs> Morgan just needs to stew for a minute. Morgan's been through a lot. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, the rest of the travel passes pretty much unhindered, um, outside of just like a small drizzle of rain. But outside of that, nothing else. Um, are you all headed immediately to the Winged Mug, or what is the God, general so. plan? God, did I we think ever we're end? An inn or in a did general we... store? Yeah, I was like, did we never go and get them potions? Yes. Oh, sorry. So you're right. That is my bad. I got caught up in sock puppet therapy. <laughs> yes, um, you you're able to easily find like a little traveling merchant on the side of the road who will set up stalls along different routes. Um, and what are are you just looking for like health potions for the most part? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what what's he got? Mostly just mm -hmm. basics, like your basic essentials, your basic medicine yeah, kits or herbalism kits or just some health, regular health potions. Um, so yeah, you're able to purchase some regular health potions. How many were you looking to purchase? Uh, a lot. Yeah, I mean, we want at least, at least five. Seems smart. Do we have One enough for, for each five? Of us? Yeah. Is there a revivify on tap? Uh, yeah, on tap. Unfortunately, no. But yeah, you're able to easily purchase five health potions. So, however you want to do. Oh yeah, that's out. a great. That's a great question. Who's the one with the coin? That would be Rain and her. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll her talk pockets. with Hallie about it. But yes, you, you're able to easily purchase it. Rain will just kind of pop it from behind the mirror. I got it. And drop some gold into the merchant's hand and pass over the goods. And steal half his wares in the process. Yes, she would. She absolutely does pit pocket. You know what? Here, I'll roll for her. She absolutely Here, pit, She pick pockets something. You're not sure what she got, but she got something. Something good, probably. She just drops in their pocket. She just grabs. Oh and drops. my god. Um, but yes, yeah, so you're able to get those five health health potions. So however you want to distribute those. I think I think it's one for each of us. Okay. For Rain, Norza, Vera, Morgan, and Elena. Okay. I will. Perfect. Because she's she is definitely getting one. Perfect. All right. My dog is snoring. No. Oh, baby. All right, you all can take your healing. Perfect. Okay. Elena's looking a little better. Her color is starting to come back a little bit more. She's always red. She's a fire genasi, but she's been a little pale. Um, and so that color kind of rises back in her cheeks, which is good. All right. So after you acquire your health potions, what would you like to do now? So let's go uh, meet the get guy. Get some rest. Uh, oh yeah. No, I think we're gonna yeah find this tavern. We are not taking Elena with us. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, um, 
you all are able to go to one of the taverns. Um, let me see real quick. Hmm. Should we be leaving her alone? If somebody went and got her, it should, like, I don't suppose, well, we don't really have the manpower to, unless we leave, like, Levin or something with her. Yeah, yeah probably Levin, unless... Yeah, you can leave Levin with her. That's totally fine. All right. E. Um, so, you are able to find the Whispering Willow Inn. That seems relatively priced at the moment. Um, Norza and Vera, you two specifically, will you two roll me perception checks as you are coming into the city? Yes, I can. Morgan, you, pick you are out. a little too out of it to give a notice, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but... Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Um... Oh, Ooh. I'm rolling good um, today. That's a good me sound. Me too. I got 16. Hey, yo. 16 over here. Oh, perfect. All right, you two. So, Minnesota bros. Yo! Oh, yeah. Vera, with oh, yeah. Don't you know? Oh, yeah, with the ranch. Oh, let me squeeze you past there. Oh, my God. They're, they're gone. Oh. I've lost them. Um, <laughs> anyway. Go bikes. Vera, with you <laughs> being the first to see this and Norza, since you are alongside the side of the wagon, um, and you're Vera driving, um, you look out as you're approaching the city. You, you were here a while ago. Um, you fled very quickly, but the guard presence seems to have increased. Um, there seems to be more guards walking the walls, more just located on certain areas of the street. There's more people here. There's more guardsmen, more manpower. Oh, I like kind of pull back the reins to slow the cart down. Mm -hmm. And I give like a faint whistle to, well, can a robot whistle? A snap, a clap, a boom shakalaka you, to get their you, attention? You, you, <laughs> might have, you might have a whistle. Like, it might be automated. Like, it, it sounds... Can it sound like those like steam train? Yeah. Like, two, two... Oh, I was gonna say it's just gears whirring really fast in her throat. Just it sounds like a train. I mean, whistle, but you don't... the funny thing is they have to they have to be able to breathe in order to speak. So they have to have some kind of diaphragm inside them. It's got some yeah. So it's like this weird train whistle. I'm like those I'm like those Jabberwocky birds where like I can imitate any single sound I hear once. Yeah. Um. That so makes sense. I I uh make a noise to get everybody's attention as I pull back on the reins and slowly kind of like push the card to the side. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of making note of the rounds of all of the guards men, um, until somebody wonders why I pulled off. Uh, Vera, what are you doing? I, I gesture forward with a nod. I'm like, way more guards now than there was before, don't you think? Yeah, you're kind of right about that. Can I look at the guards? Like, do they look like they're maybe on edge? Do they look like they mean serious business? Do they look just bored out of their wits in? They, at the, like, even generally looking at the moment... The ones up on the walls seem a little more um, alert. The ones that are down peppered around the city, like even on this main street that you're looking where you can see some of them walking, they look a little more bored. I, um, I don't suppose there's any way that I could overhear what they're talking about with a hustle and bustle, huh? Mm -hmm. it's a little, just a Is little there... Bit is there any way, do you think Holly would be okay if we sent Rain in to do reconnaissance? Because, you know, we're still wanted and being yeah. a changeling. Yeah, I think absolutely they could. Um, let me roll a couple of stuff here. Oh. Sorry, Holly, I'm a backseat gaming here. That's okay. <laughs> we're Jaegering um, Raina. So she sneaks away. Um, pretty stealthily. She vanishes in the crowd pretty easily. After about five, ten minutes, she comes back. Um, and, and, and reports to the rest of you that the general conversation doesn't seem to be about anything specific. Like, they're not talking about, oh, wow, we have to keep an eye out for these particular individuals or anything like that. Like, it, it just seems like they're doing their job. 
Um. Okay. Um. Is there any way that maybe we could have Rain at like try and role play out of the guards? Like what all the extra coverage is for? It's like, oh man, there are a lot of you today. Like running low on your on your ticket counter or like. 200 arrests behind your monthly quota. Jeez. <laughs> In the back of Vera's head, she just hears, This is far too suspicious. Kill them all. <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sip on the breeze. Um, <laughs> I'm oh, like, my Lord. Kill them. Yeah, she'll, she'll go off for a bit. Um, about half an hour will pass because it took her a little while to find an outfit that may have looked correctly with the guards' outfit with the correct insignias. Even with being a changeling, she can only change so much. Um, she just kind of... So none of the guards really told her because all of them either have just been told by their higher-ups that this is where they need to be, or... Uh, just not really telling her kind of vague conversation alluding to it but not anything where like even the ones that are vague they act like they know what's going on but you're like they don't really know what's going on if this is something going like the, these are they, they have been told to keep an eye out for anyone on wanted posters and to bring all of them in all right, so note to self, uh, extra good disguises. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to play I'm a pretty princess with some Claire's makeup and just like... <laughs> oh, I suppose there's only so much you can hide behind my steely automaton nature. So Vera can be the prettiest girl at the party. I'm gonna be the prettiest girl at the party. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, don't you know the prettiest girl at the party, eh? Oh my god. Hey, Canadian, is this offensive? Yeah. <laughs> I am American. But anyways, all right. Um, any, any Canadians in the chat extra salty right now? I wouldn't blame you if you were. Hey, I yo. mean, they got, they got poutine. They got the better end of the deal. They also got very much better health care. So, yeah. like, they, they can take yes. their licks. They can handle them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, they can. Anyways, all right. Um, so, extra disguises. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Elena, you know, is not wanted, so you don't necessarily need to worry about disguising her. Um, what would the but rest do at the like? same time? Need to get her a place to yeah. The, rest. the closest in to you is the Whispering Willow Inn, um, which is pretty moderately priced and everything. So yeah, I think we're gonna stop there and get set up. I think that's probably for the best, considering y'all are still pretty squish squish. Yeah. And even yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could use a good rest. Yes. Yeah. So I, I would like to have that's another question. Do we want to? Do we want a short rest before we go to this meeting? Short sure, rest this. Okay. Yeah. Um, might be. How uh, many not might, that rooms should be best. are you getting? Two. Okay, because you can. Um, Rain will offer to stay with Elena. If that's where you would like her to be. Because there's only... Well, no, there is. So Elena, Morgan. Unless Morgan says otherwise. Is there... Because uh... I could just prop myself up against a wall. Is there a one uh, a one room with two like queen-size beds? Yeah, you would be able to find that. You guys want to snuggle up, save some moolah? Yeah, let's snuggle yeah, up, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need we need some team building at this bitch. Okay, perfect. One queen size, two, one room with two queen size beds. Um, perfect. Yeah, you go into the room. It's nice. Beds are, are comfortable. Lens seem fine. There is a window facing the street on the outside, so you can have an overlook a little bit. Um, otherwise, pretty bare bones. Just a single dresser along with the two beds. Perfect for what we need. Um, yeah, take a rest for a bit. Yep, Clean ourselves right. up. 
Gonna be collecting my dices here. Let's see. Let's how many am I gonna roll? All of them. Pop a rib back into place. Fear is gonna use some uh, Scotch Bright pads and just freaking. <laughs> Scotch Bright pads. She's got a special uh, scrub daddy for the dried blood occasions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're able to easily rest. Elena kind of sits down on one of the beds. She doesn't necessarily want to sleep at the moment, but she's resting. Uh, she doesn't quite feel comfortable doing the whole sleep thing yet. Beth, y'all want to take your short rest? What the hell am I E8? Oh, Don't know. I found them! I found them! In my very big ass bag of dices. Proud of you. I'm proud she of me thick. too. She chunky. Oh, this is a beast. This little, I, I got this from a, a fellow follower. It's, it's a beefy boy. I mean... Proud of you. <laughs> it's also very gay, so... Yes. Alright, let's roll all these head dices here. Uh, okay, I'm seeing some good numbers. Woo. Okay. Just like that we're sad but pushing through in the chat. <laughs> I looked up and I was like, "You're not wrong." <laughs> no, no, I mean that. That pretty much sums it up. Morgan won't talk to the love of his life because he hasn't seen her for twelve years, so that's going on. Norris doesn't know how to talk to Morgan to make him feel better. Xavier's dead. Uh, Hallie is not here and is also very upset and distraught at Xavier leaving. And Vera is just like, "I'm trying to hold this family together." <laughs> It's great. Vera, Vera's like that, that just like shakingly like grabbing everybody and just being like, don't yeah, just it's go. just a it's just a cuddle puddle. Like yeah. she I also think... just walked away from the one person that she could truly confirm that she loved, mm -hmm. and, oh. like without a single goodbye. So like, on top of you know murder escapades and for like 0.5 seconds, I was like Xavier. <laughs> uh, I, no, I know. <laughs> I, I, it's a different kind of love. It's a love hate yeah. relationship. It's a love hate relationship. It's like a, a hate to slow burn friends. Get it? Slow burn. I'm, I'm slow oh. burn. Um, <laughs> all right. So, that is um, very good fun. I do appreciate it. You all got to keep it spicy. Um, rest. Uh, Elena sits on the bed, surveying her rest. Uh, after that, are you just going to the winged mug? Should we run so, reconnaissance on the mug and see if there's anybody that we recognize? Uh, with the yeah, F? Hallie, um, sorry, Rain went there, and when they went, it was a very nice cafe that had a large window front that said the winged mug and scrolling. It was just closed at the time that they we're getting ready to go. Um, so, and she'll tell you that that's at least how it looked on the outside. When she, if you would like her to, she will offer to go take a look real quick. Like, like maybe just have her like skirt in real quick under yeah, the yeah, guise yeah. of somebody mm -hmm. else on the street. Yeah. Like, and she'll, she'll past a peasant lady. She'll just be like, mm -hmm. exactly. She'll just go down really quick. Go check it out. Um, as she's looking around, she doesn't see anything. 
strange, no unsavory people even taking a quick glance in through the window. Doesn't see anyone that's unsavory or familiar either. And then starts walking back and then comes back and describes that to you. There was that's two or three other patrons at the time in the cafe, but none of them looked familiar to me. How are we supposed to know who F is? And how are they going to want to contact us if we have no idea who they are? Should we, like, make a sign that says, uh, F, you here? I mean, they did ask for you to meet them, so they must be pretty open about seeing you. Can I do, like, a, a history check or something to see if I know anybody with that? Yeah, absolutely. Is Nor there, like, any... Here. Is there any, like, I would love to make a roll to see if I recognize this initial anywhere. Sure. Um, Vera, you can, and Norza, you can. Uh, what role would you like? History? Uh, history, please. Insight? History, please. Um, that was an 18. Oh, I rolled an 11. Um, with an 18, uh, Vera, you can think of like a couple of prisoners in the Beholder's Eye that had F names or titles. You don't think of anyone specifically who would be like, yeah, I'm going to call Team Havoc. Nor so you don't think of anybody. Wait, what were the names of those, uh, the convicts we released? None of them start with F. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, one, of them, one of them... Is there anybody on Team Silence's name that starts with F? Um... Like, can I ask Rain if there's anybody on Team Yeah, Sam? absolutely, you can ask. Or Team Mercy. Do we know the names of Team Mercy? Do you know the team names I... of Team Mercy? You don't bother to remember them. <laughs> Their names are fucking you. See. Um, fuck hey, that you starts with an, an F. <laughs> um, so, the, the uh, Rain will quickly run through the list and tell you that Orion is the sorcerer of the plague doctor that you saw. Um, Athena is the cleric that ended up helping you guys get out of the capital city in the first place. Uh, Natari is a Githyanki, and Evelyn is a, uh, I believe she's an elf. Yes, an elf. None of them start with F. Nope. If only we knew the names of Oh, and then the Genasi named, um, Dame, but you haven't met them. I, I don't suppose I know any, like... Oh, Even no. just like a Google search in my head. No, you absolutely <laughs> not. Team Silence is kept very much under lock and key of who they are. I can memorize a lot of things, but I don't have any capacity for Team Mercy. Uh, I, I guess our only really option and our only really way forward is to just entertain this idea, but be on our guard. Yeah, let's do I've it. Got, I mean, we've rested up. I got a little bit of juice left in the tank. I got some spell slots back. <coughs> yeah, same. Okay. Y'all are headed towards the wing flag again? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna just... As, as we're leaving, just... Reyna, um... It's, 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 mm -hmm. Make sure she's okay, please. Elena's just kind of sitting there. She's curled up. She looks comfy. Like she's like made a little nest of blanket and pillows and just looks cozy. Like, <laughs> like you look back at her. She looks content. Like a little less, or sorry, a little less stressed than she did when you first saw her. Like and and when she woke up, she looks a little more relaxed. She's she's gonna need to get uh, get her strength back. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything too weird. What? Do I like pick up on Morgan's like knees weak, arms heavy, mom spaghetti, like palm sweating? Like, <laughs> damn it. Like, um, can, do, can, I, can I? Can I? No, can I no, no insight check needed. I rolled a two. Okay, yeah. yes, oh. absolutely. Oh me. All right. Well, it's, I, I don't know. I mean, fear, that's an eleven. Fear what you count? What, like what you catch first? It's just like the way that Morgan looks at her, like the quick glances that he steals, things like that, before you hear him say, like, keep an eye on her, like, make sure she's safe kind of thing. All right, I, I'm not going to interrupt, and I'm, I'm going to act very nonchalantly as I'm, like, trying not to impede on this precious time. 
but I will take note of this episode of Days of Our Lives that I'm witnessing. I mean, why have precious time when you can have precious moments? Oh yes. my god. <laughs> Yours uh, is just kind of like... I hate it here. Scoot up to Morgan and just say... So... Um... Is this as you're walking? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, fucking heart and about gave out. Okay, as you're walking, this conversation's <laughs> having, yes. Buddy. Uh I may not be that socially aware of things, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty aware of what's going on with you and your friend. Mm-hmm. And um Take it for someone who lost their loved one and can't say the words they want to sell them anymore. Do it before you miss that opportunity. You miss 100% of the shots, you don't try something. You don't try. Garza <laughs> high fives Vera. I I remember some yield verbiage of you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Morgan just you, takes the You misseth a hundredth percentile of thine shots thy don't make. It was the hundredth percentile for me. Like just takes his scarf and just wraps it completely around his face that is now <laughs> bright ass red. In your head, Morgan, you don't hear Jasper, you hear Cedric. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it... Excuse you. What? This is a private line. Uh, well, um, I seem to recall you asking me to do a certain thing. Um, so me and Jasper have some, how would you say it? Uh, joint custody. <laughs> Anyways, uh, carry on. I'm, I'm <laughs> Can I, can I do that thing where I, like, you know, like, in the old theaters where they take that hooked cane and, like, yes, like, slide somebody? Yeah. Can I, like, gently try and corral, um, everybody away from yes. Morgan so he's, like, less embarrassed? Yes. I'm just, like, I'm trying to, like, gently herd them. Sure. Yeah. Towards the door. After a few mo- it's walking and some very awkward conversation and some realization from Morgan um, you d uh, come to the door of the winged mug the winged mug looks as if it is a regular old coffee shop from the outside uh, it is open there's an open sign on the window the glass front in gold scroll says winged mug with a little dragon underneath it it's not incredibly busy, but you also have arrived at a time where you don't expect to be. Do you go inside? Yes. I kind of, you know, like when you go inside, but you make it kind of like super weird, like it's a push pull door. Like I'm. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm a little frazzled, so I like accidentally try to like push the pull door. And I, I kind of pull the door and I look around and I'm immediately trying to see if there's anybody that I recognize myself personally. Okay. Um, as you walk in, you are met with a beautiful sight. Inside is big the big cup of coffee. Cosiest, like that's a pretty beautiful sight. The coziest of cafes that you could possibly find yourselves in. The sweet smells of coffee and tea alike hit your nostrils and smells wonderful the lighting above is nice and warm greenery hangs from the windows it is almost as if you have stepped into another world something magical and whimsical it is just comfortable when you walk in on th there are two patrons that are currently sipping coffee one looks like an elf one looks like a human and then the last person up on the stage surrounded by greenery and framed in it is a red tiefling playing on the violin. Wait, is this the 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 girl that 
Xavier tap that one time? That's Mauve? No. Um, <laughs> oh, thank God. That, um, I was like, I couldn't remember her name, but wasn't that also this, a red tea? I was like, about to get real this awkward. Is very, yeah. <laughs> this is a very um, androgynous looking tiefling. Behind the counter, there is a single person. Um, very tall, brown haired, blue eyes, freckled faced barista uh, who has a small dragon wrapped around his wrist. Like like an actual dragon or like a little, like jewelry? Like an actual dragon. That's dope. It's a little <laughs> green dragon. Oh, baby. Oh, oh shit. Sexy. Hello. Dangerous. Living the Hello. dream. Uh, I want what he has. I'll put a picture of him up on stream. Oh, oh yes, oh, please. Oh. Oh, oh, my God. I love the cafe. Uh -huh. Oh. I want to go the, uh, hello. Hey. <laughs> hello. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hello, nurse. Uh, woo -ga. Uh, hey, Elena, how you feel about polyamory? <laughs> hello, sailor. The, hello, sailor. The room is filled sailor. with this beautiful sound of this violin from this bard. Like, it is stunning. Just this entire atmosphere feels comfortable and inviting. But he knows how to whip up a good cup of love. Well, only one way to find out is uh is the daily special cup of love because you know I do. I'm, trademark I'm trademarking that the daily special that's actually written up on the chalkboard is a dragon heart brew hey heart love I'm close so you have two patrons a person up on the stage as well as a Barton or a barista what would you like to do first Do they I'm... knock over the counter just rushing it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I am just going to try and find a nice little nook that would accommodate all of us. Yeah, easy. You're able to At find least a nice four. little nook. You have to pass by the stage and the other two patrons to get there, but in the back, absolutely. Can I look around and just see if anyone has, like, clocked us and is like looking at us with intent oh let's yeah go ahead and roll fucking hell <laughs> your mind is focused I'm, elsewhere i'm rolling like ass today 10 okay give me a second I need to do a roll, that's all. Oh, oh, <laughs> sh oh, oh shit. Please tell me it's the barista. <gasps> <laughs> um, no, you don't see anyone intently looking at you. The barista will, like, give you a... <laughs> offer you a, a, a smile and a little wave as you walk past him. Uh, when you're ready, order, just come up and let me know as you will walk past pass by the stage, pass by the other two patrons, and into the back, where there is a very cozy nook that's in, like, it's the walls, and then it comes in a little bit, and then the nook with a window. It's very cozy. Okay. I got nothing to help us. Yeah. Uh, I I am going over towards the very handsome man with the handsome dragon. Okay. I awkwardly look through the 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 pamphlets on the tables. Okay. So Norza, as you all get to your booth and then you turn around to go talk to the very handsome little barista boy, uh, the tiefling has finished their song and actually is walking towards the party. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Right, okay. I'll, I'll let you take over from here. Hey! hey! Oh! <laughs> new character, new character, new character! New character, who this? We got no, the cutscene that... intro! Do you don't remember me? This might help. And I use this guy's self, and I take about 20 pounds off, so sunken cheeks, 
my horns, instead of being the full round horns that I have, are roughly sh shorn off. Um, it looks like I've had the shit beaten out of me. Um, and I am in prisoner's garb with my prisoner numbers barely read re 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 readable on my suit. Oh, this is, uh, I'm Farstal. You the only person who ever actually didn't beat the shit out of me? <laughs> so, in case you don't remember, I'm the guy that the guards decided my horns could be weapons and they shaved them off. Took a while to find someone with restoration to get it back. Are you all right? <laughs> you good, buddy? That was so like I. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was so. I was like, did we? Did he disconnect? Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit! Did they? I was like, the silence. Is, the this silence is, is silencing right now. This is real emotional. Oh, I. I told you that I would pay you back. When you guys got out, the prison was in chaos. A lot of us took advantage. I've been kind of running around for a bit, getting myself put back together. But now that me and I hold up the I hold up a gorgeous fucking veal. It's like a work of art. I said that but now that me and Adra are back together, I am going to pay that debt. So, first, I need to tell you something. There's no, there's no easy way to tell this, to say this. Prince has been murdered. The rumor is you did it. The word on the street is that you are public enemy number one, but it has not been publicly declared. And there is already, there are already rumors that there is a bounty on your head or something similar, and that there are many people looking for you. Damn. That's a lot to process over a single cup of coffee. The reason you don't know about any of this is because it happened almost immediately after y'all left. I was a few days behind you. I was still trying to track you down. So because because he's a prisoner, do I recognize him as well, even vaguely? Um, I literally was getting the shit kicked out of me all the fucking time yeah. because without my magic and without my viol, I am nothing. <laughs> not really so... like vi viol? Viola. Vi viol. Viola. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, um, it's, it's... Not really your department, Vera. Okay. I, I, okay. It would have been Norisa would... when he was up and coming kind of thing, like before he was placed on this group. So not really your okay. department. Would, uh, would I, as, this... a, as a prisoner, know about him? Um, you would have, maybe would have seen them in passing. You knew that there was somebody, another tiefling, or, or like a tiefling, or somebody that was normally the target of, of things, but you didn't participate. You may have tried stepping in like once or twice, but also gotten the shit kicked out of you for it. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, you would, you would know of them. That doesn't necessarily mean you would know them. Yeah, like I would, yeah. I would at least like recognize. Yeah, once it's a, like a little revealed to you of, wow, I have had a lot going on and may not have put together these pieces. Wow. Oh my god. So that's the first bit. Um, the second bit is I am going to, if you'll allow, follow you around and. I will keep on following you around until I have returned the favor and saved your life. Can I, like, vibe check him? 
please. Like, I don't... Yeah. I, like, like, what's the vibe? Okay. Like, can I, like, maybe get a perception on, like, Intention. I don't know, like, heart rate or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Can, yeah, can I also insight check just because we've been through the shit ringer? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, considering, Never trust anyone. Considering it's Ray, I got Whoa. a... Uh, I can play more than just a shithead. I got a natural 20 with a plus 4, so Ooh. I have 24. I, I, need, I, need, <clears throat> I need to cleanse my dice. I rolled a 7, <laughs> so 12. Uh, that's, that's Time bad. to say, Swatch him. Yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> I'm, uh, he's completely sincere, um, but uh, since you're doing biologicals, uh, his heart rate is up, and he they are very much nervous as all hell. Is but, Okay, so like... Is it one of those like he's bouncing his leg, like slight eye twitch, <clears throat> like like maybe like finger tapping on the table waiting for a response? It's more subtle than that. He is very much looks like he's composed, but you can tell just by like the pulse of his is uh, carotid in his neck that his pulse is up. Um, but other than that, it's it's everything everything that that speaks to because you rolled a natural twenty, so everything that speaks to anxiety about him is. He's trying to cover it up. All right, I um, I kind of lean over towards Norza, and I'm like, from what I'm perceiving, he's not trying to deceive you. And I hear really well. Okay. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um. Well, if he wants to join us, I suppose. We could always use the people. Yeah. Especially considering that there's a lot of people who want to see, probably want to see Norza dead rather than brought to trial. Now here's a here's a question, really. Did my dad made that happen? Because that sounds like something my dad would do. Here's the question, though. We were just at the palace. How did the prince die? Wasn't King Morprax's name the one that was on the list? You all did something. And we. We saw the prince, didn't we? Yep. I'm pretty sure we did. You did. Wait, well, I was keeping more tab on the king the entire time. Was nobody keeping <clears throat> tabs on the prince? You sent no. him to the infirmary, and then he sounded the alarm when thing when he because Morgan had noodle arms and smacked him. Noodle armed him. And smacked him. And noodle armed him. Yep. And yeah, so he, he pool went, noodled him across the snage. He, he went to the infirmary. Yeah called the alarm because something seemed amiss because of course uh, was when you were in the library with King Morprax you all then left got out of the city this happened after you left the city mm. oh my god oh no so like it's also happened fairly recent correct <laughs> does sorry can you remind me of your character's name again Farcel. 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 Does Farcel. Does Farcel give any details as to like the way the prince was murdered? Like, was this like an I, ambush, I, a backstab? They don't. I know. have. I have no idea. Yeah. They have kept it so very much under lock and key. It explains to you, Vera, you specifically with your military knowledge, why everyone is on high alert. But the lack of knowledge and the lack of people knowing means they're trying to keep it very much on the down low that the prince is dead. So my worry is if somebody sees Norza, mm -hmm. he's public enemy number one, like Farsal said. But they probably know that Norza's traveling with us, which also, in theory, makes us they probably might... accessories to murder in their head. Well they may not have decided what they're going to do about Norza yet. Because this does make him technically neck in, next in line for succession. Is so this oh, I don't even want the fucking crowd, okay? God damn! Is there any way of talking to your father and proving Calm that down, this wasn't you? <laughs> Uh, yeah. He's like slamming let's the not, table. I, I just like, like I, I just he, cover like, his mouth. I just, <laughs> I, just uh, like, I imagine he like double slammed his fist on the table and like knocked over the salt and pepper and beers like hastily putting <laughs> it back up. Still looks over. He's like, do you need something to drink? Uh, uh, I go uh, up as like four specials. Oh, oh, okay. 
Uh, all right, port specials this. I'll be right over there. Make mine extra strong, please. Oi. Okay. Basically milk. <laughs> Basically milk. Oh. Or is that... <laughs> you can't yell that out loud. Sorry, sorry. I, I. Ah, uh, okay. This is bad. This is this is so bad. This it's is. It's certainly not good. Did you guys? Uh... Wait. Here's the question. Julius is dead now. Who else would kill the prince? Somebody that Julius is working with or for? Maybe. The line, the the list would probably be long. Any enemies of the state, any foreign bodies that foreign governments that wanted to destabilize things, um, especially killing the crown prince and then framing his brother. That that could destroy an entire regime. I don't know. All instincts are saying it was the wife. It very well could have been because she is no. from another. Mm -hmm. Now I'm tempted to go back and talk to the Duke and Charlotte. <laughs> oh, we might. God. We probably should. Uh, a Duke? You're going to go talk to a Duke. One of the subjects and vassals of the king whose son has just been murdered possibly by his other son. I mean, we were just there yesterday. I... If anybody's going to vouch for the fact that we weren't there to commit a murder, it would be the person that saw us in person. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Sure, sure yeah. That... And that... Uh, if they're keeping it on the down low, um, I, as the DM, I'm telling you, you would likely out yourself to the Duke, who is still beholden to this crown. Yes. I'm. That's what I'm trying to say is, if it's on the down low, and your friend is a duke, he's going to be one of the people on the down low. I mean, dukes aren't exactly like... I mean, we could, like, grease his pockets. Do you, do you think he would go down for, like, a 46 gold pieces? Okay, no, this is, this is more of a question. What we had and dealt with, I don't think gold is what he's looking for. This I is more would... of a question to Ivy than yes. anything. Would Vera know whether or not the Duke would be willing to put Charlotte in any harm? Because Charlotte's name is on the list. Would the Duke be willing to put his own daughter at any risk for any plan? No, of course not. Of course he would not put his daughter at risk. You've seen the links that he'll go to. Okay. So, I don't think... Will he hire I don't think... a fugitive and case guards came looking for you all? Uh, and possibly <laughs> put his daughter to risk in that way? You don't know. Well, considering I did accidentally go whammy, whammy, shablammy in front of his daughter, he like, caused psychological damage. I, uh... Whammy, whammy, um, shablammy. After a moment, uh, the bartender, who you see their name tag is Luca, uh, will come over and put the cups of very warm coffee in front of you all. Uh, you all picked the special, so you got the Dragon Heart Brew. Um, it smells sweet and, and uh, is topped with cinnamon on the top. I imagine my Rain just freaking inhales it. Something happens, though, while you all are starting to uh, pick up your coffee. You look down, and there, wrapped around each mug, is a different colored little dragon. And Lucas smiles. He's like, oh, they, uh, they like the warmth of the cups. They're all friendly. Uh, you'll see them in the greenery and stuff, too, just so you know. And you look up, and it's there, a dragon cafe. there in the in the greenery is a lot of other little dragons, either sleeping or awake or playing it, with each other. It's what, like a cat what, cafe, but it's dragons. It's I, have, dragon. oh. I have to know what color is my cup dragon. There's a little red dragon. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Nora, so you've got a little green dragon. Morgan, you've got a little purple. blue one. Yep. Uh, you got a little blue one with little, uh, he's almost a little bit smaller than the rest, and he's got these bright silver eyes. Uh, and then on the other one, uh, for our new bard friend, uh, yours is a little copper. Aww. Are, are these, like, to go? Like, Oh, no, no. Like... They're, they're just happy to be here. Uh, they just like hanging around. Okay. Hey, little Vera, guy. Vera questionably like goes to like outstretch her palm on the dragon and like do like a little like you know with cats oh, you like scratch scratch. under their yeah. chin. Yeah, just lets you do a little scratch. Yeah, they just like the uh, the warmth in the mugs. Ivy, you're killing me here. Why can't you make this real? 
Why, why, why isn't your Why is your world invisible? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But with that, I, uh, we are going to go take a short break because it has been over an hour and a half. So that way, you all can kind of process what you've now been told. Uh, and mm-hmm. so, yeah, we'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll see you guys then. <gasps> Bye. Bye. Eating pantalones. Why? Why anyway, there's cheese in your pants. pants? Yes. <laughs> anyway, Donde esta la biblioteca? everyone, welcome back to uh, Pure Havoc. Before the break, uh, our lovely new bard friend had introduced themselves to the party. And just so our players know, they are non binary, so the pronouns are they, them. Um, this, they're a very androgynous looking tiefling. But, uh,. <laughs> bilingual yeah. kings that's so sad because of your intro um so uh you all are currently have found yourselves in the winged mug cafe where you are surrounded by little coffee and tea dragons that are keeping you company with a very cute bartender or a very cute barista named luca um is there anything else is there any anything you'd like to do? you were previously discussing what you want to do next where you want to go uh, you know oh god i understand i'm gonna look i'm gonna look directly at norza i get it nobody knows me better than me we might need to go back to your oh, house what what like what well, like i can't talk to the dead i don't have that much level of my cleric stuff to do that Oh, God! Listen. I get it. (sighs) But if we're going to clear your name, we're best to do it then there. Okay. We just gotta gotta be at the top of our game. We just gotta be at the top of our game. Question is, is would your father really believe that you would kill your brother? Like, does he truly think that low of you? Yeah. Yeah. The last mm. time you all saw him in the library was not great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that did not. That, that was... didn't go well. It didn't go well. Yeah, that's pretty dicey. Hey, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh... She's here all week, folks. God. Not really. I'm very <laughs> limited in my both my jokes and my attention span. I just I come in for one day, blue. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something. If we can at least see the body, we can figure stuff out. There should be like some kind of forensic and compare wound to blade and or magic or something there's there, there has to be might, something there might be some sort of you know continual yield, factor the old csi god dun dun god if xavier was here right now he'd probably be saying oh we could just kill the king we could just do that xavier oh. did always choose violence and Morgan it wasn't kind of violence like, for Xavier. <laughs> Morgan just holds out his hand and just go, you know, we could just kill them. <laughs> it would be so much easier. We could just go in, set the king on fire, and be done with it. Norza, I don't suppose you wouldn't mind a quick family reunion and then, you know, dissolution in one night? Yeah, we could do that. Let's let's go for it. Um, That's our only way to do it. Let's Let's do it. I was not expecting you to agree to that so easily. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I, I'm, I literally have. I'm trying to this do. thing that Xavier told me. It's called sarcasm. Right, where, am I doing good? Right. Yes, I, was, I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> Except Xavier was never sarcastic about it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> thinly veiled sarcasm. It wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> Nor was it thinly veiled. Your perception's just really bad. So. If- most we could do is if I can get Norza, for the most part, your father seems to be in mourning. 
He doesn't... That's the thing! He doesn't mourn, though! He doesn't! From what I was able to gather from a lot of the servants that attend the castle, uh, only his private valets are actually able to see him because he's sequestered in his room and he is apparently incredibly distraught. Then where the fuck was that when my mother died? I don't know. i just telling you what I know. I'm trying to give you everything I've got. And to be fair, Noz, I know you didn't like him. But he was your brother. I mean, you could at least say goodbye. Trust me, coming from someone who's lost family, it's... You at least want that. I don't know, last time you told me to say goodbye, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Five Just saying, dreams can be crushed. That's that's all I'm giving him. Five minutes. <clears throat> what about the bigger problem? What's the bigger problem? Proving Norza's innocence. Well, if if anything, we could always lean into the truth. Which even is if you the were the last go, person, the last person to touch him was Noodle Armed. So blame if be on me. It came down to it. That's quite. This is far fetched. Could there be somebody that could possibly cast Zone of Truth, and you could? If the king you know? has uh, uh, has access to a uh, cleric who has that ability, then there yeah. are ways of making it foolproof that you cannot lie to them. I mean. At least as statistically. I keep on slipping into Xavier. I was like, yes, you break all their toes. But <laughs> Magically, realistically. <laughs> I mean, I... Fist to oh, the face I mo might know <clears throat> someone, but it might be a minute for them to get here. We're and getting... You're getting way too ahead of yourselves. You're... We're, wow. We have to get Norza into the castle. And yeah. all of you are wanted. I mean, we've been, we've been through us. Oh, God, we've been through us. <sighs> I can we need a vacation. I can disguise a few of you. I, I. But the biggest problem is. Let me double check and make sure I'm right about this. It only lasts for an hour. I can. I can oh, at least we'd... make myself very hard to grab and hit. And I can teleport a bit. That's if everything goes wrong. I'm trying to make some kind of plan for at least something going right. That's fair. I, when it comes to things going right, uh, it's a bit outside my bailiwick. Here's, a, here's what I can do. I'm not technically wanted my appearance is so drastically changed from when i was in prison no one would even recognize me that's fair you look quite well thank you i can go into the city i can get as much information as i can and i can get information and then is there any way that maybe you could find a passage that would maybe lead us more directly a shortcut of some kind maybe underground a, passage a road I, less traveled or less guarded i might be able to do that if i have some coin to spread around so but either way to get into the city i'm positive i could there's going to be tons of ways f to smuggle stuff into the city i can think of four right now but the big thing is it's not about getting you into the city it's about getting you into the castle Pretty sure we can't go in the way we did before and just look like servants. That was sure we could. I mean, no one ever questions servants. That's true. Well, I mean, they do. Well, I mean, it's going to be on heightened alert right now, but literally with magic, we can make situations to where you would look like 
servants even under close roping. That's true. I'm, I do have... If we can get to the to the entranceway, I can get in without being seen quickly, I think. Rain will pipe up like, I can get in. Ra Rain's here? Yep. Oh, did you leave her or just Levin? I thought we were just leaving Levin. Yeah, okay, I thought okay, so okay. too. I thought that was yeah. I thought we I thought we were leaving Rain. No, you're fine. Okay. Well then that's two of us that can get in. But like I said, I can also spread the spell around. It'll leave me a little tax, but I can spread the spell around and get more than two of us under it. I'm going to need assistance. With... I'm not exactly. We're also not playing with a full hand at the moment. I I don't want to put her in too much danger. But Elena is like me, in a sense. She's magical. Mm -hmm. and, um, in every sense of the word. But, um... Aww. She... Shut, shut your face. <laughs> she might have something. It's it's been a while. We we have options. Real quick, have all of you drinking your coffees? Yes, mm -hmm. I am. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, I <laughs> haven't. I've just kind of been letting it sit oh, there. Sit. Eventually, Luca will come back uh, to the table. Uh, are you, are y'all done with your drinks? I can take them for you if you or if you want a refill or anything to go. You know, I think we'll be uh, leaving here. I think we have some private conversations to be had. Oh. Just just looking to the group as we are fairly in public. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, let me know if you need anything to go with you. And it clears away the cups so they're already empty. Um, for those of you who have drinking it, uh, you have resistance to fire damage for the next hour. Yay, yo! Yo! Does that make me immune? Yes. For the next hour. That's all you oh, get. <laughs> I'm it's running anti straight into a bonfire. <laughs> Just like Xavier would want. Yeah, they're uh they grew up so fast. I'm gonna go clear away the cups. He's like, here, even you, though he's gone. If you, uh, oh, if you need anything else, just let me know. Uh as he clears away and some of the, those little dragons will just scurry up into the greenery after uh the cups start to clear away. I, I oh, gently shoot. lift mine, like I assist mine into the top of the foliage. Yep. Climb up I use Mage Mei Hand to like zoom mine around just like on a little roller coaster ride. Right. Love it. He's enthusiastic, has his little wings spread. <laughs> Alright. So. I, I think we should head back to our lodgings and maybe have this conversation where there might not be people listening. Yeah, and you guys yeah. should probably do your best not to be out in the street a lot unless you're disguised yeah let's let's head back to the our place. yeah i i think that would be right as if we get out of the way uh with your permission i would like to alter your appearances uh sure i got mine vera says right vera nods um i'll make vera into a female half orc and I will make uh, Morgan into a uh, a blue tiefling. Hey. And Norza, I reach out to change you into something else. Norza is just going to take the form of a green dragonborn. Ouch. <laughs> okay. All right. Love that. Ow. <laughs> I was about to my soul. Um, yeah, that that one. Hurt. Okay, uh, Rain is going to take the form of just uh, an elderly human woman. That is, she looks a little more inconspicuous. And you all 
are able to leave the wing mug, Luca will give you all a little wave on the way out. Um, and as Mo as Morgan stands up, he like looks and sees they have a tail and just starts like doing circles and be like, "This what the fuck?" <laughs> Just full gold lab just does a couple of right, circles trying to catch it. You, you'll get used to it. This, this is tangible Far for me, right? Like, I can, like, feel, When you look like, at your hands, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, like, if I, like, touched my own hands or touched my body, like, I would still feel... Mm hmm Like, okay. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm tripping out a little bit. I'm, like, having a sensory overload. But I'm, I'm hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you begin walking out of the wing mug. You still see that heavy guard presence, but nobody is stopping you all. Uh, you're just throwing a couple of quick glances immediately written off as not who they're looking for, and you move to back to the inn. When you arrived back at the inn, uh, Elena and Levin are curled up. She is asleep. Uh, they are cuddling, and she still looks more restful than she did. Um, even just a quick check, Morgan, with your anxiety about this. Uh, mm -hmm. She's fine. She's breathing just fine. She's just sleeping. Uh, I think Morgan's going to just sit on the bed there on. <laughs> All right. So how you long want to get back there? This last an hour. That's why I'm saying this is only good for point to point, and I can't do it forever. But it could at least get us in. If we can get in and get somewhere safe within an hour, yeah. Shouldn't be too hot since we already know the basic interior. If we go the same route, then we should be able to get to where we need to be within an hour. Well, um, I can. If you guys want to try and find a way in, without going, have needing disguises, I can see if I can get us smuggled in. Oh God, that's that's risky. Because you said they up the security. Mm-hmm. That'd be risky. I'm <laughs> literally, I'm literally talking about people. Who do this for a living not people not, not not like hiding you in a cart full of hay type crap oh that's actually what I, exactly what i was thinking no i'm talking about a complete false bottom wagon oh that is definitely better than the hay that's actually kind of badass i kind of gesture to my very nice clothing and i was like i just got out of prison and i'm dressed like this do you think i got this legally uh, maybe. I'm gonna like you. <laughs> it's like, look, I was in prison because I was a bad person. I didn't do what I was accused of doing, but I was pretty much a thief and a liar and a charlatan. So, I mean, that's not the worst thing that people have done. I'm sure it's not. I'm terrified to find out what the worst things anyone here has done, but I don't need to know that. All I need to know is you're helping Norza, so I'm helping you. Honestly, we, you're helping Noza, so we're helping, so we're cool with you. Uh, yeah, helping hands all around. <laughs> all right. Um, if I can just use a quiet corner for a moment, I'll see what arrangements I can make. All right. Um, hey DM, are we in? Is there? In this, in the town we're in, are there any shops that like have scrolls or items for sale? Um, Xavier was able to get some scrolls at the general goods store. Um, because if you will recall, this is a uh, college town with a lot of like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. scholarly individuals, so you'll be able to find scrolls. What are you looking for, magic wise? Um, I specifically for a scroll of Zone of Truth. Oh, um. Let me look. Did you did you know that I can't crit fail a create persuasion or deception check at all? I did oh, look at your go. stuff, yes. No, because if I roll a nine or lower, it's treated automatically as a ten. Yep, I looked at oh, your stuff. Good luck. 
Um, we got a new talker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you would be able to find this on the truth spell. It might be a little pricey, but you would be able to find one. Which means my deception is automatically an 18 and my persuasion is a 16. Oof. Uh, you say pricey. How much is pricey? You're just looking for one? Just one. You really only need the one. I don't know, like... I, I think it depends on the store that you're going to and how hard you're looking. Are you haggling for it? Um, I mean, yeah, I would, I would, oh, absolutely, I would haggle. Okay, um, I'll tell you what. Never pay full um, price. Just roll me a general uh, persuasion check as if you had haggled with the, the, the general store owner, and we'll figure out a, sh a, a price of based on that. Listen, you fuckers. You rolled terrible all night. Give me something. That's better. 30. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Um, eventually you're able to haggle them down to 25 gold pieces. Oh, easy. Um, how about this? I will give you this potion of healing. With, uh, worth 50. If you trade him, he'll give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I looking through my inventory with the one we just bought. I have three. Yes, he will trade you them. Son of Truth scroll achieved. Dun 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 that, dun 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 dun. That could da, da, really help da, us. Da, 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 da. I've decided I'm gonna go get the new one. So now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. My life is gonna be spent in front of a TV. So um. Okay. And then I'm gonna. I'm just gonna head back to the room. So I'm sure that's first level. Is Zona True second level? I thought it, it was is. third. It's second. Oh, that's second nice. Level. It's a second level nice. enchantment. Spell. That's it. That's good. All right. Perfect. After. Kay. After getting that, I'm gonna rush back to the our room before this disguise wears off. Yep, you rush back. You're able to do so. Uh, Elena at this point is more awake, still sleepy, but awake, uh, listening to the conversations and p scratching on Lovin. Um, Xavier, you, <laughs> Z Z sorry, listen. Wow, Farstel. looks like we're all gonna have to. <laughs> Farstel, you it's, get we're gonna have to work on that. Period. It's been a year of Xavier. That's why I was like. Okay, first of all, you you get a response, um, mm -hmm. and you're able to do so. All right, so I come back out and I said, uh, I have made arrangements to get the four of you smuggled in. I don't know what you're going to do with the dragon, um, but the four of you, can I can get in. The dragon, I have no idea how to get something like that in, except maybe with, like, just bring it in in a cage with the rest of it as an item for sale or something. I mean, mm. one's really going to question if you're bringing a dragon into market for whatever purposes. But that'll attract attention, so. Okay. By, by this time, Morgan bursts into the room quickly before the disguise okay. drops. He goes, I got the scroll. And then sees Elena awaken. You needed... I got the scroll. What scroll? Uh, you. Somebody mentioned Zone of Truth. That wasn't a bad oh. idea. Oh. So I got one. Oh, okay, cool. So that's this. There's, there's it looks looks at the north of the plan A. Okay. I could just turn the person into my best friend and ask them to tell me the truth, but that's okay. Plan B. <laughs> yeah. Plan B. Just, plan B. Plan C. We die a horrible, gruesome death. Let's save that for, for Plan G. I'm moving it to Z. Elena, like, looks at like, I also say Z. Plan Z. How about we don't make the dying a plan? How about we just That's have funny. that... Statistically, like... dying is always part of a plan. Norza, right? Yeah, plan Z. 
Okay, we'll just do that. All right, cool. Yeah, this is this is this is fine. This is this is fine. This is totally totally fine. Yeah, she'll look to, from <laughs> Vera to Morgan and be like, "Is it actually fine, or does he just is this to say that to like make it better?" It's hi it's highly he unlikely that, that the situation is actually fine. He's actually quite panicked. Oh, okay, great. That's I just I wanted to make sure I was reading the situation. One, in <laughs> fact, could say that he is terrified and is not showing or hiding it very well. Oh. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. He's just in a corner a normal... rocking himself. <laughs> He's fine. It's a normal He's rocking response. back and forth. <laughs> That's a completely blanket. normal and legitimate response to uh, the actual the trauma they've felt today. <laughs> just gonna take the blanket out of my pack, put it around Norse. Like, You're gonna be okay, buddy. It's not every day you get framed for murder over your bastard brother. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm the bastard. <laughs> Not anymore. Not you're anymore. okay. So you're bastard in logic. He's bastard in reasoning. You, you pretty mm. much been uh, le legitimized, legitimized by fratricide. Oh, oh my oh, god. god! Legitimized by fratricide. That's that's, that's a Xavier baller. thought if I've ever heard. Of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's still bleeding through a little. <laughs> After a year of worth of playing him, it makes sense. Um. So we have plans. We're not gonna get to Z. What? To Atlanta, if we're not gonna get to Z. What do I do? Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know them. Uh, I don't. I just. They were here. I just met them. So we're on the same boat. Um, oh, hi! I just met them too. Hi. I'm Farstel. I, Elena. Nice to meet you. Uh, I like your red. Oh, thank you. I like your red. Thank Red you. is a very nice color. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's calming mm. and relaxing, I find. Truly. Uh, so, what do you, I do? Or do I stay here? I, 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 I mean, it, can you I'm kill sorry. anything? Uh, I don't know. Can you turn into something terrifying? I don't know. Um, I'll Can you use a weapon? Yes. Can you be a good distraction? Yes. Can you? Oh. Uh. What? I'm like having Do a you... job interview for the heist. Do you need armor? Uh, I mean, I was going to ask. Because if you, you do, be... I will go out and steal some. Can you be convincing? I can. What do you mean, can I be convincing? Yes, I can be convincing. Yeah. Convincing how? Like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can do that! What am I doing? <laughs> what? What For for what, exactly? Like, convincing how? You, you're, very, you're very charming. I mean, you can... I... I you're so not good at this talking thing. No, shut up. He's usually better than this. Mm -hmm. Normally we have the opposite problem, where, like, talking is what gets him in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Wait, does he do that a lot? I don't um... know. I just met him. Oh, okay. I'm gonna cast message to each of them, just going, but <laughs> please. <laughs> is that how it sounds in the message? <laughs> La 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 la, don't be shy and go and I'm gonna kiss the girl. <laughs> like to cast fireball. This, this, is, this, <laughs> this is Morgan and his crush. Mm. <laughs> 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 Elena just sits there looking a little confused. Like, what? Okay, what are you trying to say to me? Present yourself as some kind of diplomat or. Coroner of some sorts. Coroner? We went from and diplomat to coroner. Anything to get her inside. I think I could manage diplomat. And Quite possibly have... an advisor. Mm -hmm. I think. I, I think I'm. I wonder if I can get some forged credentials. You still have your magics. Uh, yes. It's been a while, but I am sure I could be convincing enough. You have magic? Yeah. What type? I don't 
know anymore. I'll get back to you on that one. It's, it, it's a long story. We've this this glances at her just for a second. We we've been through a lot. Yeah. Escaped from a tower and a fucking plane of wasted death and spent days tracking through black sand, dying of thirst and dodging firestorms and yeah, been through a bit. But that's okay. I'm sure you've been through a lot too. I'm just gonna cast a message to not say it out loud. Uh adopted father experimented on us and tortured us and uh Essentially, it locked her in a mirror and a coffin for 12 years, from what I understand. Dude, you need to get her into physical therapy. She's probably atrophied all the hell. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't. That's why I was. Left her here so she could rest. Well, that's probably a magical casket, and those do weird things. Who knows? Hmm. Yeah, this is a fantasy mortuary science, don't you know? Yep. yep. Yeah. Ye old mortuary's assistant. We call this rejuvenating <laughs> caskets. Live while you're dead. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you're dead. <laughs> Go into stasis for six years. Come out with great skin. All of your acne gone. Your rheumatoid arthritis gone. Hair loss gone. Erectile dysfunction. Well, uh, <laughs> there's things to help uh. with that. We're not one of them. <laughs> We we I, make actually, we make horrible not, commercials. That's not a bad <laughs> question. I don't know about um, you. I feel like I would be fantastic. What's the question, Tom? How how old does Elena look? Um, she looks like she's still aged into her twenties. Okay. You don't know if she was locked in that mirror the entire time. It's true. You also haven't asked her I, because I you're scared to talk, talk to her. To her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, Morgan is like me. We are shy as fuck. That's fair. Most of the time. Um, but yeah, she, she would kind of, I can, I can be convincing. Anything that helps. It's the least I can do. I mean, the least you could do is get some rest and recuperate. I have been resting. I'm in my blanket nest. So they don't know you either, right? No. The people who, like, well, th you're not going to be on the wanted posters? Absolutely not. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about smuggling you in, because so, that would change everything, because no. that's another person. No. All right. So smuggling you guys in, getting you to the safe house. Once we're at the safe house, we can start getting gathering more intel and figuring out what we want to do to get inside the castle or finding a way to get information about what happened in the castle. Both of those are very possible. Okay. Um, I'm going to need some more time because I want to see if there has been anything in the underground about, you know, maybe paid assassins or anything like that. Cause Norza, you were obviously not there and obviously didn't kill your brother, but someone did. Wait, Norza's brother's dead. Wait, who's Norza's brother? I'm lost. Uh, oh, I forgot you weren't present. I was here. They, no, no. They told me I had to for the other part of the conversation. Uh, yeah, it's so precious. I love her. <laughs> Ivy, please don't kill her. If I wanted her dead, she'd be dead already. Um, <laughs> oh, good to know. Good to know. Wow, phrases that sound cold-hearted for three hundred, Alec. I mean, no. I mean, to be fair, not. You're right. Yeah, definitely not wrong. Like. If I with the had, way my backstory was written, no, her, you were absolutely right. No, if I had killed her, it would have been you guys accidentally killing her in Julius's house when you shot the mirror. Like, in in Ivy's defense, that was extremely nice of her to not accidentally. Yeah, like to not to let you. So you're you sure you want to shoot the mirror? I <laughs> shoot the mirror. You sure? And you were like, no. I was aiming for Julius. The mirror was collateral. Oh God. But she's fine. So, anyways. <laughs> so wait who's yeah, let's dead? see I'd like Morgan's villain arc for 2000 <laughs> so hi hi again my name's Farst yes uh, uh, m this is Norza yes I got that Norza was a prison guard I was a prisoner sure I escaped okay. to come find Norza because he was the only person who was nice to me in prison okay 
Turns out, Norza's also adoptedly, side tangentially, maybe kind of in line for the throne. And uh, yeah, and so his brother was just assassinated. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. But two weird things are coming about. Number one, I heard that they're looking for Norza, but we don't know if they want to kill Norza because obviously he didn't do it because he was not even in the in the capital. So they either want to kill Norza to make sure that no information gets back that whoever killed the king's son killed the king's son, or they killed the king's son because they want to replace him with Norza because Norza's next in line for the throne. Either way, we don't want them to get their hands on Norza because then that takes all the control out of Norza's hands to decide his own fate. Oh, I'm caught up now. And we're going to try and prove that Norza is innocent of killing his brother so that we can find out who actually did it. My, <sighs> my condolences to you, Norza. I'm sorry. That's okay. He didn't he like his brother. He was a bit of an asshole. He, he had it coming. Family. Oh. He had it coming. Oh. He was still family. I mean, we knew some assholes. Mm. You burned one up. Mm. He would have wanted it that way. <laughs> he would have wanted it that way. He would have wanted it that way. can't guilt trip us for like, respecting <laughs> his wishes. Okay. I thought you were going to throw him in the cave mimic. Uh, okay. I, I think he would have found that funny, but not as like, dramatic. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. hysterical. Because Ericus is buried that far from there. Like It would have been such poetic justice. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, where do you go but... when you want to die? I would like the mouth cave, please. Mouth like cave. the mouth cave. Um, yeah. Yeah, Elena's like... uh, Morgan just looks to Elena and says, I mean, to be fair. Oh god, I just immediately I was gonna say uh, who were you thinking? Yeah, to be yeah, to be fair, Tolka was a bit of a... They were so mean. Anyway. They're so mean. Anyways. Uh so what do you think killed the prince? If not we, Norza we, or if you all We don't know. That's what we, we're trying to do. It find wasn't out. me! I didn't no, kill no, him! I no, no, we've established no. that already. Norza, no, I believe buddy. you. it was more of a if you didn't kill him then what or who did? I mean, that's... Uh, it's a prince. Any political enemy slash rival slash anyone who wanted to throw the government into disarray and disharmony is a candidate. Or and get a... this, what if we were working for the bad guys the entire time and it's the towers and like that That whole... type of stuff only happens in movies. What's a movie? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like... Sure, kind of like how I was. Oh. <laughs> That stuff really? only happens in books. I mean, to be fair, until earlier today, we were thinking it was father. Why? Why did you stop thinking that? Because he's dead. Why did you think that? Because oh, it was your asshole. father. Sorry. Who was your father? Father. Why? Uh, why? Father. father. Who was you? Who was your papa? Papa. Uh, papa. 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 Why? Papa, you must cease killing people. Papa. I don't think that he was necessarily looking for political gain. So I Papa, Nor Norza's brother fell down the well and hasn't come back out yet. <laughs> Papa, God my brother damn. got stabbed in the back. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, to be fair, he did turn... Uh, uh, again, Norza's hard to bring up wounds. He did uh, replace the head, head guard at one of the towers. How do you know it was him who did it? I mean, it. I mean, purple splotches found one of his labs had names on it. So he was replacing people in positions of authority within the mm -hmm. king's own court. But the Just question the is: court. is why would that benefit him? Unless it benefits someone else, and he's just a middleman. I don't. Did he need money? No. Uh, I don't think... Is it possible that the doctor would have been given maybe some sort of prestigious position or something along the lines where somebody to take I, over? I don't think he had any hand in any towers. He Ooh. never mentioned it. And believe me, he would talk a lot. Why were you going to go back and see the Duke? 
Me? Mm hmm. Um. Well, you see, there's this girl there. Mm hmm. Oh, Charlotte. Leaving her behind. What yes. do you know about Charlotte? I mean, the mirrors are on the property. She would come in. The mirrors are on the. Wait, the mirrors? What mirrors? Oh, yeah, I used to live in the mirror. <laughs> Is it appropriate okay. of me to ask of a person who doesn't remember me? It's probably for the best that they don't. I mean, yeah. Did she ever mention me or anybody that vaguely generally resembled me? Mm, I don't know. Normally, she would just come over for studies. Uh, Julius was her teacher. Who's what Julius? Was she her being teacher. taught? Oh, just arithmetic and English, mostly. Different languages. There wasn't anything nefarious Julius was teaching her or doing to her, as far as you know? No, not that I ever saw. Was Who's... he the one who modified her memory? Oh, yes. Who's Julius? Uh, Dr. Julius Brick, uh, our father, quote-unquote. What, Wait, now could that, I roll something to see if I even have any idea who that is? You can roll a history check, absolutely. Now should that I? Julius is dead, would that modify memory go away? I don't think so. Can I pull an insight check on Elena? Yeah, absolutely, you can. With what we went through, she seems very cavalier about it. 22. 22. Uh, with a 22, you've never heard his name mentioned in the capital um you've never but you, you do remember hearing his name briefly mentioned in the beholder's eyes tower but only by prisoners who had been there for a very long time as he had did not work there very long for obvious reasons um but yeah you've never heard his name mentioned anywhere else really what about through my criminal network guys um through your criminal network a little bit you knew that there was some kind of experimental institute. Uh, you were there was no real details. All of the details were very fuzzy and or kept under lock and key because dead men tell no tales. Um, but so like you knew that existed. Um, you haven't heard anything through a criminal network lately. He's been operating pretty above board for the most part recently. Okay. So basically just vague whisperings. Yeah. The name has been heard, but not for a long, long time. Yeah, pretty much. All right. That's a 14 for me. Okay. Um, yeah, you read Elena. She's, she seems open. She was stuck for however long in a mirror where she couldn't fly. So now this is just her regular, like... You can see this, the resemblance of when she was stuck in the mirror and that AI type of feeling and her now is that she is trying to figure out self again, like that individuality. So she's being okay. up open because she's so used to having to. It's like those filters have not yet come back to her yet. Got it. Okay. 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 I, would... I knew what you were scared of. That's fine. You got me paranoid here, Ivy. That's good. <laughs> Be paranoid. <laughs> Gary phrases for 200. <laughs> <laughs> That's the daily double. Um, okay. That's, that's pretty much what so, I know. Um, do you, you... Okay. You said he talked a lot. Uh, yeah. Did he... Did he ever mention why? everything like what he was planning and doing he he's just obsessed with bettering himself and by bettering i mean experimenting on himself or making himself better he's just selfish yeah so that's why he He's, he wants, I don't even know if immortality is the right word. To survive, maybe. Mm. Infamy? Maybe. Maybe that's a better term. Oh my 
guess that's an answer. Not as satisfactory as one I would have hoped for. But. I don't know. We've been through enough. At least it's some kind of knowledge. Something to take solace in. Okay, so. <clears throat> So what is the plan when we fight him? Your, your, your father, not Rick. We're just going to talk to him or hear I what guess, he has to say? I guess we talk to him and see what he has, what he wants to say and everything. And well, if he decides to like try and get all of us, we'll just cast some magic and then get out of here. But. Uh it's easier I, said than done. I got. I mean, I have something. I I do have hold person. I can do my damnedest at least twice in a turn to hold him. I can make him my best friend. I mean, yeah, you could. We could do that, and it's my best use friend. Use the scroll on both of the, on both of you. As. I, as much as I want to say therapy, it'll at least put him in the know that it wasn't you. Maybe then he'll see the gravity of what's going on around us. As much as I hate to say it, Nausea, you fucking rubbed off on me. Good to hear. Yeah, fuck you. Love you too. We have weird ways of showing affection up within this group. Yep. Yeah, we do. Uh, We're gonna get you taken so... care of, buddy. I imagine Rain is like over there, like gently, like oh, petting yes. Norse's head. Just petting oh, yeah. Norse's head, yep. Just. Oh. Um, so, rest tonight. Yes, Plans you. Yes, you especially mm, get some rest. You. Oh, I should go rest. get a room. You, you're, you're fine here. Yeah. Save your, save your coin. Nah, I don't pay for anything. I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> you leave. Um. I like him. I think he's gonna fit in. Considering he's been incredibly helpful so far. I go downstairs. Mm -hmm. How many people are downstairs? Mm, just the one. Oh, just one? Rats. I was going to busk. Well, guess you'll have to save it for later then. <laughs> I mean, you could have an opera for one. Nobody's stopping you. Yeah, nobody's stopping you. Go That's for true. it. Yeah. So I will go ahead and step up and start playing mm -hmm. uh, and I will see how well I can do and then drop the hat. Okay. Roll me a performance check. 17? 17. 17. Alright. Um, you start performing. It's not as crystal clear as when you were in the cafe earlier. The vibes are just not the, quite the same. They don't inspire that musical talent as much. Still beautiful as the music notes slowly drift up through the hallways and throughout the uh, inn itself. Even those up in the rooms can hear the faint song. Who is the only person in the inn? Um, there's just the one patron that seems to be sitting in a lounge chair. Just a human. Um, probably just somebody passing through. Um, but with... It's Boblin the Goblin, but in a Boblin. trench coat. But in a trench coat, yes. Um, and eventually, uh, you do earn enough coin for the room for the evening. You're able to successfully procure one. And the rest of you are able to eventually do your lawn rest. And I think that will Thank end God. the session there for the evening. That way everybody can get an actual good rest as on this Friday evening before our weekend. So, 
Uh, thank you, everyone who came and watched. Thank you to the people who rated. And uh, a large majority of this cast will be at Gen Con. So if you're at Gen Con and want to come say hi or go watch the wonderful new Rollists that is being put on or come to the Crit Awards, uh, we'll be there. So Or do both. Yeah. So thank or you guys. Or do them all. Do everything. So um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we're going to say goodnight. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs>